Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Shell. So today we have a returning client. So she has come to me once before and she is a straight natural, meaning that she only wears her hair in a straight state. So just keep watching. I'm going to share with you guys what she has in mind for her hair in the future. We're going to share the condition of her hair and you guys will be able to visually see the condition of her hair of being a straight natural. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. So of course I'm going to start her off with a good detox and then I'm going to go in with the She Nourish Shampoo and deeply cleanse her hair. And for the water police out there, I know you guys are going to complain about the water being on. It was only on for like a minute, I promise you. So, and then I turned it off. And so yeah, I'm giving her a good deep cleanse and getting her scalp and we're going to shampoo her about two to three times to make sure her hair is thoroughly cleansed. Now I am using lukewarm water because I don't like to use hot water because hot water can damage the cuticles of the hair. Now I'm going in with the She Nourish Recovery Deep Conditioner. This is going to help strengthen her hair and give it a nice moisture balance. So you guys are going to notice the shine. The shine is coming from the shampoo and then you will notice the bounce and the lightness of her hair after we're done and that is from the deep conditioner. I'm not so innocent myself so Maybe I could use your help so this is the current state of her hair as you guys can see for her to only do silk presses I believe she said all her life she has been or at least her adult life she has been getting her hair straightened I see that her hair is in still pretty good condition I don't look at her hair as damaged especially since she's been straightening it for so long now, I know we living in an era where it's like we want to see aesthetically pleasing hair and everyone wants perfect hair, but everyone, no one hair is perfect. So when I look at her hair, I still see healthy hair. Now, what she wants is to embrace her natural curls, which I love as well. So she's going to take a break from heat now so that she can fully see her natural curl pattern. Another thing that I want to say is that if her hair, because I know some people are probably going to be like, oh my God, her hair is not healthy, it's damaged, just because it's long doesn't mean it's not healthy. Her hair is actually really he healthy. She does not have like a lot of breakage going on. She does not have a lot of shedding going on. And that is why she's been able to retain length. Now, her length, part of it is because of genetics. But another part of it is because she takes good care of her hair. She said her mom and her sister both have similar hair to her but but her but their hair is not as long as hers and they wear different styles than her as well so she's the only one that consistently gets her hair straightened but they wear different styles like braids you know etc but their hair is just not as in good of health as hers is so that to me that says a lot because you have her mom and her sister all with the same genes and her hair is the healthiest because of the styles that she's been wearing. That means you see me bleeding, I'm bleeding. Oh, it's a pen I've been second guessing. I wanna learn my lesson. And maybe I can see you for you. And I know it's been a rocky road, rocky road. I don't mean to. I know nowadays a lot of people are gearing towards becoming a straight natural. Now, I don't recommend becoming a straight natural just because it is not the healthiest routine. And I know the mind of a natural is like we want to straighten our hair every two weeks or monthly, but we also don't want to see not one curl loosen up. And yes, I hear this all the time. Like people want to silk press their hair. They want to have it straight because it's easier. It's more convenient. It has nothing to do with, you know, wanting to look a certain way or like another race or anything like that. It's just easier and more convenient. But you do have to be realistic and know that your curls are going to loosen up. 
does not always mean you have heat damage. It just means that you are reforming the bonds in the hair. But I will say it is always good to silk press and take breaks in between versus silk pressing straight all year round. Not everybody here can handle being a straight natural. Some people can get more silk presses than others. Last thing I want to mention about being a straight natural is be very cautious of what you read in the comments or on any social media sites because some people will literally say, I still press my hair all year round and I have literally no damage. And one person can see that comment and they can try to do the same thing to their hair and literally destroy their hair. So when people are telling you about their hair, they're speaking from a perspective of just their hair. I speak from a perspective of doing hundreds of people's head. So I'm going to have a different view than a person leaving a comment that only has done their hair and speaking from just their one experience. So I'm going based off of majority and the average person versus going off of one person who's an exception to the rule. So now we're going in and just doing her small trim. So she didn't want a lot cut off. So we just did her little trim today and got off those uh, frayed ends at the bottom. So as she transitions, cause when you go from being a straight natural to wanting to see your curls, there is a transition you do have to go through. So as you guys can see, when I was washing, her roots were a lot thicker than her mid shaft to ends because she, is, she isn't silk pressing or straightening her hair as much. So you do have to go through that transition, similar to going through a transition with a relaxer but not as intense. Now, if you are struggling with your hair and you wanna know the best routine for natural hair, click the video on the right-hand corner of this video. It's gonna pop up now. So click that video, watch it all the way through, and I'll talk about the best routine for natural hair, especially if you wanna use heat and keep your hair healthy. I'll also leave my silk press training down in the description box along with the products that I've used for today. So make sure you guys check that out. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Zero outside, mm -hmm. at the top of one.